Ever been curious about the changes that occur in your body during fasting? It's a remarkable journey. A voyage of cellular discovery where your body activates inherent survival mechanisms and a variety of complex biochemical processes. During fasting, your body goes through a metabolic switch where it starts using stored fats as a primary source of fuel instead of relying on carbohydrates. It also stimulates processes like autophagy, which is the body's way of cleaning out damaged cells, and gluconeogenesis, a process that produces glucose to maintain the body's energy requirements. Moreover, fasting initiates the release of human growth hormone for cell growth and regeneration. So buckle up as we delve deeper into the intricate world of fasting, uncovering the myriad ways it affects your body's biochemistry. Firstly, let's talk about insulin. Insulin is a hormone that acts as a gatekeeper, enabling your cells to absorb sugar and convert it into energy for bodily functions. During a fasting period, insulin levels decrease substantially. Now, you might ask, how does this lead to fat burning? Well, with lower insulin levels, instead of utilizing sugar for energy, your body is compelled to switch to an alternate source. This is where fat comes into play. The body starts to metabolize the stored fat to keep up with energy requirements. Thus, a decreased insulin level essentially your body's switch to burn fat facilitating weight loss. It's like your body's secret mechanism for shedding those extra pounds. Advancing further, the body endures glycogen depletion. Glycogen, the preserved form of glucose, is primarily the body's preferred source of energy. As the fasting period extends, your body gradually its glycogen reserves, necessitating the discovery of alternative energy sources. It's somewhat similar to running out of petrol and being forced to switch to reserve. Now let's elaborate on those alternative energy sources. When your body runs out of it, turns to other sources such as stored fat and protein. Fat, in particular, becomes a significant source of energy, converted into ketones by the liver in a process called ketosis. Ketones are used by the body and brain in place of glucose. Simultaneously, protein may be used to a lesser degree, broken down into amino acids for the body's essential to summarize. When glycogen is depleted, your body cleverly adapts by utilizing stored fat and protein to maintain its energy requirements. So, it's not just about running out of fuel, but also tapping into alternate reserves. Next, the truly remarkable metabolic process known as ketosis kicks into gear. When the glycogen stores in your body get depleted, often due to a low-carb or ketogenic diet, your body initiates this process to meet its energy requirements. Your body begins converting stored fat into molecules known as ketones, serving as an alternative fuel source. This conversion happens mainly in the liver, where fats are broken down by enzymes into glycerol and fatty acids. The fatty acids then undergo a series of reactions known as beta-oxidation, in turn generates acetyl-CoA, a substance that starts the production of ketone bodies. It's your body's ingenious method of ensuring the metaphorical lights stay on, even when the primary power source is unavailable. Think of it as nature's remarkable backup generator. This hormone, known as the growth hormone, is your body's prime mover when it comes to the development and growth of your physical attributes. It stimulates cell reproduction and regeneration, a process critical for human growth. When it comes to metabolism, the growth hormone plays a pivotal role. It helps to stimulate your body's metabolism, ensuring that food and nutrients are broken down efficiently and effectively, providing the energy your body needs for day-to-day -day activities. And when we talk about muscle strength, it is this hormone that is your unsung hero. The growth hormone stimulates the production of collagen in our skeletal muscle and tendons, thus improving muscle strength and performance. In essence, this hormone is like your body's natural elixir, promoting vitality and vigor. It's your body's internal fountain of youth, an essential player in maintaining your overall health and well-being. Approaching the midpoint of the fasting duration, an essential mechanism known as autophagy is set into motion. Autophagy, derived from the Greek words for self-eating, is a natural physiological process that plays a critical role in cellular maintenance. Throughout your body, it sets about eliminating damaged or redundant cells, making way for the generation of fresh, healthier cells. Think of autophagy as your body's self-cleaning oven function, but it's far more than just a simple tidy-up. Through the breakdown and recycling of cellular components, autophagy helps to rid the body of harmful toxins and waste. It's an efficient system of restoration and renewal that ensures your cells perform at their optimum. 
Without this crucial process, damaged cells could accumulate, potentially leading to a myriad of health issues. Therefore, autophagy during fasting is of paramount importance. It's a testament to your body's remarkable capability for self-preservation and regeneration. It's as if within each of us there's a mini dedicated maintenance crew tirelessly working to keep us at our healthiest. Fasting contributes significantly to the enhancement of blood sugar regulation. By limiting the intake of energy during fasting periods, it forces your body to tap into stored sugar for energy, effectively regulating and balancing blood sugar levels. This process is akin to your body's inbuilt system of maintaining an optimal sugar equilibrium. Furthermore, fasting has been linked to the reduction of insulin resistance, which means that your body becomes more responsive to the sugar-regulating hormone insulin. This increased sensitivity to insulin is vital as it lowers blood sugar levels, thereby reducing the risk of type 2 diabetes. Thus, fasting serves as a natural tool to not only perfect the body's sugar balance, but also to minimize the potential onset of type 2 diabetes. Fasting induces a fascinating phenomenon in our bodies, resulting in significant alterations in gene expression. This means that certain genes become more active when we go without food for extended periods. But what does this increased activity look like? When we fast, our body goes into survival mode. It starts to focus its resources on vital functions to sustain us during this period of deprivation. One of these critical functions involves our genes. In the absence of dietary nutrients, our body begins to make adjustments at the cellular level. It activates certain genes, those responsible for cellular repair and protection. This means that these genes are working harder and their functions are amplified. As a result, our body's protection against diseases is enhanced. These specific genes that are more active during fasting periods contribute to the prevention of cellular damage. They help reduce inflammation, improve the immune response, and increase the body's resilience against various types of diseases. In simpler terms, fasting is akin to a drill exercise for our body at the molecular level. It prepares and strengthens our internal defenses so that they are better equipped to face the real threats when they arise. An intriguing result of fasting is the reduction in inflammation. This action can be likened to a fire extinguisher for your body, dampening the smoldering embers of inflammation. But how does this work? When you fast, your body gets a break from digesting food, effectively redirecting energy to cellular repair processes. These processes involve removal of waste material from cells, an action that also fights inflammation. Moreover, fasting results in a decrease in the production of free radicals those unstable molecules known to cause inflammation. It also leads to a decrease in the secretion of pro-inflammatory cytokines, proteins that promote inflammation. When these are reduced, the risk of chronic diseases is potentially diminished. In essence, fasting gives your body the chance to cleanse and heal itself, reducing inflammation and potentially lowering the risk of chronic diseases. It's as if your body taps into its own personal healing and detoxification spa. As we near the conclusion of our expedition, we come across an intriguing prospect, enhanced brain function. Fasting is not just about denying your body food, it's about giving your mind clarity. One may wonder how fasting impacts the mood. When we cease consuming food for a certain period, our bodies start to produce more of the feel-good hormone serotonin leading to an uplifted mood. But the benefits don't stop there. Fasting also boosts mental clarity. When we're not expending energy on digestion, our bodies channel this energy towards other activities. This can result in heightened mental clarity, allowing us to think more clearly and make better decisions. Moreover, fasting can enhance concentration. Initially, our bodies might protest as we adjust to the new routine. But once accustomed, our minds can focus better without the interruption of constant meals. This is why many people report feeling more focused and productive while fasting. As we trek further, we finally glimpse the apex of our quest, the potential for weight loss. Fasting is like a reset button for your body's weight management system. When we stop eating for a period, our bodies turn to stored fat for energy, leading to a reduction in body weight. This reset allows our metabolism to recalibrate, meaning you not only lose weight, but also improve your body's efficiency in burning fat, even when not fasting. Thus, fasting has the potential to transform our bodies and minds in ways we are just beginning to understand. So there you have it, the fascinating and intricate journey of the body during fasting. When you start fasting, your insulin level starts to decrease. 
Insulin is a hormone that allows your body to use sugar, glucose, from carbohydrates in the food that eat for energy or to store glucose for future use. Hence, when insulin decreases, your body burns stored fat for energy, leading to weight loss. As the body uses up its stored glucose through a process called glycogen depletion, the liver starts creating ketone bodies for energy. This phase is known as the initiation of ketosis. Ketones, a byproduct of fat breakdown, become the primary fuel source, promoting mental clarity and alertness. You might even notice an increase in cognitive performance. Meanwhile, fasting prompts increased growth hormone release, which plays a vital role in growth, body composition, cell repair and metabolism. It aids in muscle growth, strength and exercise performance, while also helping you recover from injury and disease. Next is the process of cellular repair through autophagy, where your cells digest, remove old and dysfunctional proteins that build up inside cells over time. This cleansing process strengthens the immune system and helps prevent diseases, including cancer. Finally, fasting leads improved blood sugar regulation. It lowers insulin resistance, keeps your blood sugar steady, and can prevent and manage diabetes. In essence, fasting can reduce the risk of developing chronic illnesses and extend your lifespan. From first step of decreased insulin to the final stage of improved blood sugar regulation, each stage of fasting offers unique health benefits. It's a remarkable testament to the body's resilience and adaptability. So next time you consider fasting, remember the incredible journey your body embarks on.